Will the Western world become a little bit more freer? Will we be able to navigate the online media landscape without any kind of centralized, big government, big multinational corporate takeover of the conversation? Well, who knows, as today Elon Musk is engaging in what looks like a full frontal assault on Apple, as he announced a couple minutes ago that Apple has, quote, mostly stopped advertising on Twitter, quote, do they hate free speech in America? This as just a couple days ago, there have been talks about Apple banning Twitter from its app store, which spurred on Elon Musk talking about creating his own phone. All of this as there have been massive protests in China specifically at the Apple iPhone production facilities there, which have broken out in full-out riots because the workers there are complaining about the inhumane conditions that they're forced to go through. Elon Musk also retweeted a post by Library, an alternative social media platform, talking about how Apple censors a number of terms that it doesn't want on their devices. 17 minutes ago, Elon Musk posted a poll saying if Apple should publish all censorship actions it has taken that, that affect its customers, with an overwhelming response as of right now saying yes. As just nine minutes ago in the making of this video, Elon Musk specifically replied yes to Apple threatening Twitter and their presence in the Apple App Store. If they don't make, quote, moderation changes. And I think it's pretty clear that that as what Elon Musk is retweeting and what we know from its history, Apple does censor a lot of speech when it comes to essentially what is a monopoly that they control on the industry. This says, of course, many companies and many organizations and many people have had troubles when it comes to the arbitrarily major centralized corporate rules of Apple that according to a lot of people aren't playing fairly at all. Fortnite had a major issue with, of course, Apple and its monopoly. And we have to understand that this larger conflict broke out as, of course, Elon Musk fired a lot of people from Twitter and also announced very stricter protections when it comes to, of course, content related to children and children being hurt on the platform. And after this, Apple was threatening to take down Twitter from the App Store. This absolutely makes no sense at all as of course twitter previously before being under the control of elon musk got away with a lot of really horrible things when it came to of course extremist content adult content and they were able to get away with awful awful things since then of course a lot of it has stopped and now only now apple decides to go after Twitter, as according to Elon Musk, that's a little bit ridiculous and highlights the larger possibility of what Elon Musk might be doing here is actually the right thing. But again, we're going to be keeping a close eye on this story as, of course, I think it's fair to say that we most likely are going to have now another Tesla phone or Musk phone or X phone or new WeChat phone. Elon Musk could threaten free speech on Twitter by literally allowing people to speak freely. This is a battle for the future of civilization. If free speech is lost even in America, tyranny is all that lies ahead. Yeah, precisely as I predicted, it's happening. Elon revealed that Apple is threatening to kick Twitter off the App Store entirely. Who gave Apple the right to act as the Praetorian guards for the internet? Who decided they were allowed to charge a de facto 30% tax on the internet? Who voted for Apple to establish a monopoly on permissible content? This 2020 any Fortnite clip has never been more relevant. Today, considering the anniversary of the platform unification directives, for years they have given us their songs, their labor, their dreams. In exchange, we have taken our tribute, our profits, our control. This power is ours and ours alone. We shall prevail. Isn't it interesting how Apple threatened to do all this literally the day before there was going to be a massive ban amnesty, which would have restored countless accounts that were unfairly banned in the first place. Just a coincidence, I'm sure. Proving once again how all this is orchestrated from above and represents state-sponsored suppression of the First Amendment. Regime journalists are lobbying the Biden administration to crack down on Twitter, and the White House is all too happy to help. Who does Apple give political donations to? 97.5% Democratic Party candidates. Well, imagine my shock. The media, the government, big tech are all working in unison once again to rig the game.